Here are some networking secrets that have helped me network with Coach Corey Wayne, Roll Tomasi, Justin Waller, Sterling Cooper, and basically anyone I've wanted to network with. The biggest thing is providing value and looking to help these people. The first person I actually ever networked with was Bulldog Mindset. He had me on his YouTube channel years back and I only had a few hundred subscribers at the time. He had 300,000 subscribers at the time. So most of the time, people who have that many subscribers, they would not want to work or do a video with someone who has as little subscribers as me. However, I was able to provide value to him because, hey, I wanted to offer him a new audience, a younger audience, a bunch of younger guys who would also enjoy his stuff. Because me being a young guy, I've attracted a lot of guys who are similar to my age. And him being an older guy has attracted a lot of older people to watch his stuff. And I, I said, hey, I think it'd be a great idea for us to exchange audiences. And you know, I noticed you have a lot of older guys. I'd like to have a lot of older guys following my stuff. And I have a lot of younger guys following my stuff. So I guarantee you to help you out, whatever. And I also told him, hey, I also want to make a bunch of videos on TikTok because I can tell you're not on TikTok. And uh, I'll make some videos promoting your stuff before we do a podcast in the future. He said, cool, let's do it. Started making a bunch of clips on TikTok for him promoting his stuff for free. And that wasn't even with a promise of us doing a video together. That was just, hey, because I said I was gonna do this for you to help you out, that's it. And there you go. And then so when he was ready to do the YouTube video, we did the YouTube video. And that brought over a lot of you guys who are probably watching today. I know a lot of the guys who came from recent events actually found me originally from Bulldog Mindset's page. So that's super fucking awesome. Networking secrets is just providing value, trying to help people out and give them what they want. That's the biggest thing. And so sometimes you might have to put aside what you want to do to just help people out. And I think that's great. And that's, if you want to be really good at networking, you just got to do that. You got to help people out in any way possible, making their lives easier, whatever. And so networking secrets, you got to help, help people out. And same with Corey, I helped Corey edit some videos. I helped him build some stuff. So that's why it's very easy for me to, to do these things and network with these people because I already helped them out. To get in contact with these people, I would either message them a video, like a video recording of myself. Sending DMs doesn't always work. Either making Instagram posts, tagging them, commenting on their stuff. Just you gotta get their attention. Cause I mean, on social media, you're trying to reach out to people. They're getting so many messages, so many things. With Corey, I just reached out to his team and then his team ended up you know, watching my videos. So that was super easy cause they already knew who I was. However you need to do it, you just need to find a way, either emailing them, texting them, DMing them. You just gotta go to those lengths. Like thinking that you're gonna just send one DM and then hoping that something's gonna happen out of it. The chances of them seeing your DM, like, no. Unless they, if they respond within that day, then cool. But if they don't, you gotta find other ways. Having a strong personal brand is gonna help, but also just having a lot of value delivered too. Cause if you have a strong personal brand, but you're not delivering any value to them, they don't, they're not gonna care. Like you could have millions of followers, but if it's not a good offer, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, right? If you're just going to them like, yeah, yeah, I got a million followers, but I want you to just do things for me. They're gonna be like, no, like, no, it's gotta be both ways. And if you're a smaller person than them in terms of like followers or money or status, then you gotta do more. Even having a strong personal brand, it will help you, but it's not the, it's not the everything that's gonna help you get to where you wanna be. You still need to deliver lots of value. What makes a strong personal brand is not because it looks pretty, but because you're delivering a lot of value to people and that's why people follow it. So yeah, personal branding is huge, but you also gotta deliver value to people. I think personal branding is a great tool when it comes to dating. If you wanna create a dating profile and you just wanna to talk to girls, then yeah, all you need is really just photos. But if you wanna build an audience, you wanna, you wanna help more people, you have to create content. Like creating content is, is huge.